Hello everyone, I want to do a short video on how to install a uh, convertible top boot clip. Um, I have a 1968 Pontiac Le Mans and I have ordered a boot cover, this one, um, and it contains a plastic rail here and I was trying to figure out how to put these on um, and I found no videos, no nothing, I, and so I finally was able to get a hold of and I figured it out. So here's what I want to share with you. While this uh, boot clip that I have installed comes with these kind of like U-shaped holes in it, that is not what you want to use. You actually want to drill a hole in here that matches to the back side of this thing, of this uh, two brackets that stick out. And um, you can go through and find a drill bit in your, your arsenal of drill bits that matches. Um, and that's what I did. I went through and I drilled a hole halfway between those um, other slots. So halfway between, I drilled out all the holes. There's going to be 16 of them. So, with that said, then what, then what I needed to do was on the back side of these, these, these are um, square. However, they have to slide into this, this seam, but they can't slide in because they're square. So what I do is I take a little, I'm going to take a little grinder wheel and I'm going to, uh, or a tin snips, and just snip a corner off, making it like a 45 on this. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the receiving tab. Also. So what will happen when you slip this in and over this plastic, then you, you guide it through uh, there and you push it together. Because they're real tight. And then it will hold it tight in there. And then uh, what also I have done in order to protect my leather as you can see I put a piece of duct tape because those are pretty tight also and now they won't slide off they're good I got two on I got uh, 14 more to go so um, I will uh, what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna put a, a <clears throat> couple on so I'm gonna try to put one of those clips in here. I went and got my tin snips so I can cut these corners at a 45. So I'm just going to cut them and then I'll show you what it looks like. That cut at 45. Let's cut this other piece. Okay, so you can see that I cut those instead of them being square. Not only did I do that one. But I also did that. Now, next, I'm going to pick a hole. Let me just pick this one. And I'm going to slide this clip up as far as it will go. And now you'll see that it lines up with my hole that I, jet, that I drilled in the back. Now, um, 
the problem I'm going to have here is my hole is not quite big enough. So <clears throat> I'm going to take my utility knife that I have here because this is square and mine is a little bit um, um, round because I drill bit, I have to square off this hole just a little bit. And just be careful, use a sharp um, utility knife. Slowly. You could probably also wobble the drill bit. I could just wobble the drill bit and if I might do that. Once I determine that I have the hole big enough. Okay. So the hole is big enough now because the the they're popping through. I'm gonna cut a little more off on the bottom here. Okay, so it kind of looks now like a square hole. And now, as you can see, I pop that through. So now grabbing that other piece, I cut at a 45, and there's a little lip on it, and that lip goes towards the receiver here. And then I slide it over this, like this. And I don't have my little mallet here. So I'll use my trusty thing as a hammer. So, right there we go. As you can see, I pushed that over that and now it's held in place. Now, like I said earlier, these are kind of sharp. So my recommendation is to put a piece of duct tape. I'm actually going to try with my pliers here to bend it down just a little bit so that they don't stand up as high. Did that side, and I come over here and do the other side. It looks pretty good. Looks good there. So now you'll see I kind of pushed them down, get my duct tape, give me a piece, get my utility knife, small piece, go to the back side, just put it over those pieces. I'm going to do another piece because I want to make sure that it's nice and padded so I don't want to poke a hole or have it cut <coughs> and, and cut this boot because as you know these boots are $400 and it's quite expensive so there it is I just did one and I got 13 more to go thank you if you have questions feel free to comment um, I'm always, you know, hopefully I can help answer something for you, but that is it.